What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video I'm going to show you guys another method to install jailbreak apps on iOS 11 without jailbreaking. This does not require Cydia, this does also work on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. And it's going to be done using an app called Cyrus, so let's jump right into it. So I am definitely pretty excited about this one guys. Cyrus is a new installer that I have not shown you guys before here on my YouTube channel. And as you guys can see right here, I'll go ahead and open it up. It does look a lot like the other installers. You have a home section, you have an app section, and you have an info section. And it does work very, very similarly to the other installers. Just a couple easy steps and you guys will be up and running with jailbreak applications on iOS 11 without the need for Cydia. So let's walk through the steps here. The first step is pretty easy. Go ahead and open up the Safari browser. Go ahead and type in cyrusinstaller.com and you will get to a page that looks like this. Now you're gonna have to go ahead and scroll up to the top here and you're gonna see a button that says install Cyrus. Go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click install Cyrus again. Go ahead and click allow and it will bring you to the settings application. Go ahead and click install in the upper right here. Go ahead and click next. Keep clicking install until it looks like it is done. And go ahead and click done in the upper right. And then when you go ahead and go to the home screen, you will have Cyrus installer right there on your home screen. You can see that all you have to do is go ahead and click on it. It opens up very easily, very quickly. And I am on the iOS 11 beta here, guys. So it does work very, very well. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the home screen here. Now, just to show you guys how an application actually works when you download it. As you guys can see, they have emulators, entertainment, which is like screen recorders, social media tweaked apps, and other apps. Uh, inside the tweaked apps, they do have Snapchat++. Actually, that's more like games, actually, in that section. In social media, they do have Snapchat++, Instagram++ all the plus plus applications. I'm gonna go ahead and download an emulator for this video to show you guys how this actually works. All you have to do to install an app, even on iOS 11, is go ahead and click one with a green check mark, that's how you know it's working, and go ahead and click on that, it will say allow. Uh, it'll pop you back into the settings application and go ahead and click install. Now, a word of warning here, you might actually get a little pop-up in the middle too that says install instead of actually jumping between the browser and the application. Both work the same way, just keep clicking install until it looks like it is downloading, and then go ahead and click done and you'll see that an application has installed. Now, just to show you guys what the mini pop-up would look like, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the apps here and go into entertainment, go ahead and click every chord, and that's what the little mini install button looks like. For some reason, when I went to download the actual gameplay button here, it popped me back into the browser of Safari. It might do that for whatever applications you download, but both are the similar process, and you will have the application on your home screen. As you guys can see right there, there's gameplay color. Um, for the every chord application and other applications, you might actually have to go into the settings application here, go into general, go into profiles and device management, and then go ahead and trust whatever profile it is down here at the bottom. Go ahead and click trust and you will be good to go. So generally the process is to go into Safari, download the installer, and then just go ahead and download an application. Once it's downloaded on your device, go into the settings application and go ahead and trust the developer. Pretty straightforward uh, and really, really easy way to get jailbreak applications on iOS 11, guys. This also does work below iOS 11 on any iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now the iOS 11 jailbreak has been tossed around by a number of Twitter users and I just wanted to clear up a little bit of confusion there. These are the main ways you can install jailbreak apps right now guys. The iOS 11 firmware is in beta so I wouldn't mess around with any sort of a jailbreak and there will not be a jailbreak until it is final. I'm just going to tell you guys that right now. A lot of people have been asking me if there is an iOS 11 jailbreak. It's just too early. I don't know why they would release a jailbreak with a beta. I don't even think anybody's really working on a jailbreak right now even though there has been one demoed and it's all just rumors floating around there guys. So stick around to my channel. I will update you once the real firmware is released this September as well as the real jailbreak, hopefully shortly after that. But for now guys, use these methods to install jailbreak apps on iOS 11. If you even really want to, it is very buggy. So jailbreak apps might actually be a little bit buggy as well, but it does work. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up. Go ahead and smash that button down there and leave me a comment as well with your thoughts if you like this video. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and website page and social media down there in the description as well. And as always, guys, stay tuned for more content, and I will catch you later. Peace.